Tornado warning, Cook County. Wow. They're all a bunch of different tornadoes. It's raining like crazy. This is from the all state of rain right now. This is, yes, this is ours. But if we have any of any of the other resources, we as meteorologists can't pull those up. But for anyone in the control room, just let us know what you got. We'll, and we'll show it. Uh, so we are seeing a really prominent uh, tornado indicator here on this radar. Uh, that actually just moved. We just had another radar sweep. Uh, but just to the south of Look at all that light. Now, that's where we're seeing that couplet. We can see the rain, too. To the rainfall. Uh, to an extent here. 
Um, my next camera is going to go down to Morris, and this one, just watch this. You can just see, there's maybe some power flashes in there, too. It just, you see that, Demetrius? It's stunning. Um, so that's our more view from Morris. And the next, we're going to take you down to Shorewood. And watch this. This one, you can see the trees bopping around here in the, as this moves. Look at that. I mean, that is, look at that. That is just stunning at, at the end of that shot there. So um, these are just a few of our cameras here that is showing the storms there, uh, cataloging them as they move through the area. And I think I've got one more here in Orland Park. Um, it's moving into that area. Not, not, not quite as dramatic as the other ones, but it just gives our, our viewers an idea of, of the, uh, the capability that these storms have. Even, even straight line winds. Okay, right. so typically when you're talking about, thank you, Bill, when, it, when you're talking about uh, a, a Boeing line, it's typically going to be straight line winds. Typically, you know, maybe a couple spin ups and that's about it. Um, Alyssa, Alyssa was right on this one. And is, this is, okay, I'm going to go back a little bit so people can see. This is the one coming out of O'Hare. And as she mentioned, making a beeline towards Wrigleyville. Um, this is a type of scenario where you're talking, I would say north of, well, I would say Logan Square, but I just think... Boy, that lightning was close. Just need to be inside. If our reporters are sheltered in place, and it's our job, this is what we do. This is what we do when it storms. You know, if, if our reporters are sheltered in place, then, you know, if you're, if you're a, a viewer, if you're someone who's, you know, who has loved ones, who has someone who you care about, put them in the right place. Well, this only goes to about 10:30 here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get through this, but we don't want to see for anybody to get hurt, and they're going into highly populated areas at this time. So this is that line. It, 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 it does. It does. It's, you know, Midway's experiencing um, uh, 31 minutes as far as arrivals and departure delays are at 29 minutes, and they say it's increasing. So it's, we got Midway, O'Hare, and different parts of the, of the spectrum. Yeah, and here. that Midway storm, that tornado near Midway, uh, we are seeing that into, we've been talking about Wrigleyville, that system just to the north, moving towards Wrigleyville. We also have one moving towards the loop right now. Uh, that's really indicated on our wind detection. That's where we're seeing that couplet, where you see that rotation. Uh, so if you are in the loop, if you're in Old Town or River North, uh, that's where we could be seeing another tornado uh, moving through at this hour. So just be aware that the city of Chicago reported tornadoes uh, at 9.30 p.m. Monday night. along this line um, a tornado at any minute can drop uh, you know off you know, out of this and there's just so much working for this to happen the threat continues to migrate east so now you know if you're talking Thanks, east, WG. In western cook county not so much northern cook county you definitely need to be home thank for watching this is